Hi everyone, my name is Ryan. This is my Supra. Today's video is going to be about the whole journey of this car. So let's go through it. Uh, it's a pretty interesting journey uh, that I want to share with you. Most of you asked, a few people of you asked to know the whole story of the car. So here it is. So this is when I got it. Freshly imported from Japan. Uh, I got the car from Ride Drive, which is a dealer here in, in Toronto, Canada. Um, you basically give them a checklist of what you want um, and they will Send, they have the guys in Japan that will look around and see if they can find this car. So this is the first picture that I've seen of the car. So it made, it made 340 something uh, to the wheels. So next stage was in 2015. 2015 we put a 64 66 precision turbo on it uh, with the FSR cast manifold uh, we did uh, Pro EFI 120s so we took it to the dyno and we made 740 I believe <laughs> So that year we took it to the track and we ended up running uh, 11. Oh my god. Laying it down in the right hand lane, the Super records 1117 at 135. Every year I used to set a goal for myself. So when we got the car, as I explained, it was running 13s and then the year after we went to 11s and then 10s. And 2017 was the year that I think we started taking it seriously. Um, we built the motor, uh, we, took the, we took the block out, and uh, we put uh, BC rods in it, uh, BC6309 HD, which is the H-beam stronger rod with 625 bolts. Uh, we put the CP pistons, um, and uh, I switched over to ethanol fuel. <laughs> We ended up going into the high nines. So we were running 9.8, 9.9, and it was just, it would launch and it would squat and it would bounce back up. <laughs> Um, so 2017 August about half year I'm like you know what I'm gonna get a set of good slicks and I'm gonna change it to 15 inch setup so we went with NA brakes in the back and we went to a 15 inch setup I was running 16s before um, and uh, I got Penske suspension in the rear only and I had I bought used HKS drags for the front um, we took it to the track and literally we went from 9.8 to 9.43. Yes, you 
about 94 147 uh, and that's the first time the car lifted the wheels off the ground and we're talking I don't know half an inch and 2017 at the end of the year we're talking September I blew the turbo broken turbo <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I ended up getting a 7675 H cover and I bolted it on we went back to the track and uh, that's when I busted the clutch um, so yeah we, we, we decided to go TH400 so winter of 2017 I'm like you know what 2018 is gonna be an auto so I went online um, and I found this this TH400 uh, it's it's made by Rossler and it's a Rossler XHD. It's rated 2,500 horsepower. Um, I ended up selling the V160, and I bought the TH400. I had some change left, and uh, we got the converter. I have a Pro Torque converter. Uh, we ended up changing the turbo setup, so I went for a dock race twin scroll manifold. Uh, I got an 8685 turbo. Um, that's the biggest turbo you can fit on a T4 uh, flange. So. And 2018 was the year that we went from 9.4 to 2019 um, it was pretty much the same setup that I had in 2018 same turbo and the goal was to really get it deeper in the in the sevens <laughs> from uh, 768 at CSCS then we uh, joined to Florida we went to FL 2k and uh, long story short we ended up running 758 there <laughs> So basically that's the journey of the car from day one till today, um, 2013 till the day today. What goals do we have next year? Um, if you follow my Instagram at S-A-M-M-U-T-R-Z, there I post all the pictures. We have big goals for next year. Um, the goal is obviously sixes. Um, we're changing the whole setup. We're going to Billet Block, uh, another Head Games Head, um, ProMod 98. And uh, we're switching over to uh, methanol fuel. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. We're trying to get the record of the first IRS Supra in the Sixes. Um, and I'll be at TX2K in March. So uh, subscribe and uh, follow us for the next journey. The next video is probably going to be the block and the new parts when I get them. Okay, thank you.